In this video, I want to show you how I'm leveraging AI in one of the biggest tech companies in the world. Automated end-to-end -end financial reporting decks within a couple of clicks. So this is just a POC. The real example would have a lot more uh, tabs and have a lot more slides. But I have a, a data set here. This data set is sitting in BigQuery, which is a, a large cloud data warehouse sitting on Google Cloud. I'm going to change the city here to Iowa City, and then I'm going to run through my refresh report and transfer the chart. And what this is doing is that it is taking my parameters, running that into BigQuery, then it's refreshing data. Then what it's doing is it's making some pivot tables in here automatically. Then it's making this chart automatically. Then what it's doing, it's sending that data from the pivot tables through to Gemini, which is giving me my report. Then it's transferring all of that onto my slide in here. And that's all done with one click and that can be put on a timer. So I'm gonna break this apart. I've made videos on a lot of these elements, but I want to break it apart and show you the code for all these different parts. And when they're all brought together, it's a really, really powerful solution. So I have a Google Cloud account. This will give me access to everything on Google Cloud. So what I'm using here is I'm using BigQuery and Gemini. And I can access all that from within Sheets itself. So I just need the cloud account and I'm good to go. All the code we're going to be going through today is sitting out on uh, GitHub. So I'm not going to go into every single little bit too deeply, but I want to show you how it all fits together. This is my spreadsheet here. It's my Google Sheets spreadsheet. And I'm starting with parameters. So with this one, I'm inputting my parameters in here. So this is my prompt, which is forms part of my prompt that goes into Gemini. And these are my parameters, which go into the BigQuery data pool. And like always with parameters, we just want to make sure that they're validated in the right format. So there's a bit of validation as well. I actually have further validation on this data inputs pane, which feeds into what I can input into these parameters just to make sure that everything is going to be exactly as it is in my database pool. So let me just show you the app script. So in extensions, we go to app script, a couple of different functions within here. The first one is this is just an authentication function and we're just setting our project up here is the BigQuery project. I have a function here called pull variables. Now what this does is this gets this active spreadsheet, which is called input, and this will pull the fields from this active spreadsheet. And we can go down and we can see there's a bit of data validation there. So we're just making sure that there's values in each of those. And at the end, it just pulls my values, values one, two, seven. And you can see here, I've got seven. So they're my values and they're gonna form part of both my SQL pull and my Gemini pull. The next thing we're doing is we're fetching the BigQuery data. So with this one is I am running a script in BigQuery um, based on the variables. So this is my SQL uh, script in here and the variables it's pulling in are based on the variables it's pulled in here. So it runs that and then it will set the headers and then set the rows into my raw data. So it'll first set these headers and what's coming out and then it'll set my rows. What's really important when you're using generative AI is that you're not sending through raw data because the models do still hallucinate with the raw data. And also you wanna save yourself some money. You're saving yourself all the, that prompt input token cost. So what I'm doing instead of sending in the raw data is first on the spreadsheet itself, I'm creating a pivot table and this pivot table is reading off this raw data. So uh, initially I'm getting my, my categorical data and then I'm going into my vendor data. And now back to the code here, I have a bit of code called format report. And what this is doing is it's first authenticating me in the Google Cloud, just because I need to use Gemini and it needs to know what projects should I charge this to. And the cost is fairly negligible. And um, it's also pulling my input variables and then it is looking at those two sheets. So it's looking at category and vendor and then creating my output sheet or gathering my output sheet if it's, uh, if it's created already. Then I'm getting my two pivot ranges. And then this is a bit of boilerplate code for Gemini. You can just copy this straight from the code I've provided you here. But the important thing here is that in the prompt itself, so this is the prompt that's going to Gemini, it has the prompt that we've written here, um, which is in this one. So this prompt that the user can provide, 
um, it's going in and it's giving another prompt just for a bit of hallucination mitigation, only refer to data provided, do not make anything up. Adding in the aggregated data, so these two pivots here, and then that generation will output commentary into a text field. So I've asked in the prompt for 250 words. This is the output here, so it's a var commentary, and I'm gonna put that into field number J3 on that page of output. So back here, this is J3, and this is where the output from the LLM is going. So that's my output. This graph is just made up from the raw data figure, and we can put multiple graphs in here. And what I do in practice is that I may have three or four different raw data categories and taking different slices of those into maybe 10 different narrative and graphs and send them all through to the deck. And then this is just my function to create a menu. So this is it's fairly simple on open, add these items and these items run these functions. So you can see the next function is called transfer charts. I want to run that and that's going to be called transfer charts to deck. And you can see that in this menu here, transfer charts to the deck would transfer this to the deck. Finally, I'm going to transfer the charts to the deck. So this is another function here. So I've opened this Google Slides. So we're opening this um, and then we're getting that output sheet and then I'm collecting the output image and I'm collecting that text. But first what I'm doing is this function here is just to make sure that when I refresh that this header doesn't get deleted. And then what I'm doing is I'm getting my charts which is an image and I'm setting where that gonna, is going to fit on the page. I'm also getting my narrative. I'm setting where that's going to fit on the page. So, and then at the end, I just have one function called generate report. So what will, this will do is it will authenticate first. It'll fetch my BigQuery data. It'll format my report and then transfer it to chart. So if we do this from start to finish again, I'm going to use Waterloo this time. And then I'm going to run this from start to end. So refresh report and transfer it to chart. This will go in and this will refresh my raw data. This will then re refresh my pivot table, my vendor, my output. And then this will go off and create this narrative and then it's transferred this new narrative to the chart so you see the 12 by one there this is extremely useful and while large language models are getting better at data analysis this kind of papers over some of those cracks and allows you to create an initial version of end-to-end -end, uh, automated reports very quickly and really this is a data operation with a little bit of generative ai at the end i hope you found this video useful follow for more